point of the class is to give students the opportunity to work with this fantastic machine that we have at MassArt. And the wonderful thing about the laser cutter is you can design a file in Illustrator and it will perfectly cut in most materials your design. So um, everything is very concise and articulated and very detailed. So do the pieces just come right out? I show slide presentations of ideas that they might uh, use from different artists in history, not necessarily contemporary artists who are using laser designs in their work, so they could start thinking about ideas about what they might want to make. And then we uh, go over a little bit of what the process is, which requires a slight knowledge of Adobe Illustrator that I can teach them uh, the basics and also they can learn here at MassArt. These, these look topographical in some yeah. way to me. The first assignment was to do 10 rings, being as experimental as possible with materials and as outrageous as possible with form. Now they're working on an assignment in four different categories, fashion, jewelry, sculpture, and functional or non-functional objects. I started off experimenting with this like layering situation where I would make like lips and I would cut the different elements out of the different colored plexiglass and then I expanded on that idea and moved to accessories where I've just been experimenting ways to construct handbags like this. This one has hinges, this one is more of a box. One interesting thing about uh, using the laser cutter is you can do multiples of, of one object, one shape. So if you wanted to make a series of jewelry pieces that required many of the same shapes that are exactly the same, you could easily do that with the laser cutter and you could use many different materials and you could combine materials. So um, it makes it easy to think beyond just one of a kind pieces of jewelry triangle shape to the end uh -huh. so it wouldn't it would give it more don't strength. you think that's still a little bit my research is about materials yeah, so and tangible experiences with media in this case i'm taking weather data or weather digital data and making it tactile in a way that you can feel the weather with your hands so i created this system where you can see the weather conditions in a specific day um, and you can feel each piece and, and it will have a meaning. I like combining the idea of having a very modern tool, mixing it with an ancient technique and skill set. I think it's important to keep current and be able to do both if you like to work with your hands and you also want to you know, be involved in what's happening in the digital world. Carolyn is a great teacher. She is so enthusiastic, so willing to help, and it's just a pleasure to come to class. And she's very inspired with her ideas, never saying, no, you can't do that. Quite the opposite, just pushing you to do more. It's great.